But getting back to this game that I never left. You know, and, and another thing that I'm so tired of, I told all the young people, those that f with me, because, you know, I don't have no fans. I got little brothers, you know what I mean, that I love, and I love your freedom more than I uh, would like to have that expiration date that you got called a bitch. A lot of people tried to minimize the game and minimize my character by saying that I was endeavoring to knock, you know, you for a bra. Hey, man, let me say this. A lot of you is not giving instructions. You're giving destructions to that so, you know, you might have a P that might be sweating abroad, whether it be on a track, casino, or whatever. And because he's sweating abroad and she ain't been laced with no instructions, you know, the bride sit up there and, and run to security or she call the police. Why? Because her folks, her so-called pimp, instructed her to do so. I mean, the destructed her to do so. You know, like I said, a lot of y'all are giving destructions. So with these destructions that you guys are giving, why in the f would I sit up there and want your bra or want your b So when I told you guys that it's okay, you know what I mean? If you don't have the game, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have any information, you know what I mean? To give to your bra at that particular time, man, I strongly encourage you, you know what I mean? To sit down with your bra, to sit down with your women, you know what I mean? And watch, you know what I mean? The videos, man, I don't even know a lot of you guys. Then half of you, majority of you don't even come outside. Majority of you is up in the mother hotel room with the bitch, which you shouldn't be doing. Let me say that too. You got to stop sitting over there going to sleep in the same hotel room as the bitch, man. You know what I mean? You sitting over there, you understand me, uh, doing dates, you know what I mean, from ancient times to recent times, all damn day long. They got cameras everywhere. They seeing tricks go in and out of these hotel rooms, and you sitting over there coming in that same hotel, breaking on the and then you got the nerve to sit up there and go to sleep in the same bed that she didn't sit up there and hold in all damn day long. The only reason why a lot of y'all have not lost your freedom, you haven't lost your liberty in society, and you ain't in the correctional facility, it's not because you have a, a high intellectual, uh, that you got high intellectual capabilities. That's not it. It's only because of the mercies of God and it just ain't happened yet. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all, y'all not sharp. You're not sharp at all. So... You know, I had to take out the time. It's just little things like that. You know what I mean? It's the little things that's causing a lot of these young guys, man, to lose some big time in their life. And like I said, a lot of the older crowd, they are not taking the time out to lace the youth with the truth. So the youth is predestined, you know what I mean, to sit up there and, you know what I mean, to lose time in their life. Why? Because they don't have the game. Who going to give it to them? And like I said, a lot of people try to compare the 70s with now. Mother, do you not realize that if I miss pimped in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, that the consequences of me miss pimping my first time, you know, in 2017, I could lose my whole mother life. Your first time doing no pimping or miss pimping, you know, whatever. Your first mistake in the game can cause you your whole life, period. Your first mistake in the game. Some of you had even gotten my inbox. You didn't got into my DM and you was like, man, saying, you know, I appreciate you, man, because, yes, I've been doing that. You know what I mean? I've been uh, dropping my hoes off. You know what I mean? I've been after sometime I pick my hoes up after they've uh, been on the track and I let them in the car, the head is showing, police cars riding by, the police cars been seeing these hoes ho from night to morning, and they know who these bitches are, they know that they prostitutes, they know that these bitches been out here hoeing, and then they get inside your car, and you riding up and down the blade, and these cars are sitting over there, uh, the police cars are sitting up there looking at you. You know what I mean? Like I said, the only reason why some of y'all are not locked up it's because of the mercies of God. It ain't because you sharp. You know what I mean? Because you niggas ain't sharp. You know what I mean? That's just being all the way 100. So somebody got to take out the time to show you some love. You know what I mean? I don't give a damn about your little bitch. That's why I told you guys. With your woman or with your women, 
I gave you permission, definitely, and especially in this age, to watch my videos, you know, or anybody else's videos that's giving some good game. Not just mine. If you know somebody's giving out some good information that can keep you from being inside of a situation or a bad situation or incarceration, you and your woman or your women need to sit down and watch these videos, period. Especially if you don't know what the hell you're doing. A lot of y'all really are not pimps. You just, in, you just so happy to be lucky in a situation. You slipped on a banana peel and now you're a part of a situation. You know, and because you don't have no information, you just learning day by day from these broads on what to do. And I'm telling you, young man, you know what I mean? You're on a roller coaster ride and the end destination is going to be incarceration because you don't have the information. You don't have the game, period. So that's why game is needed. Um, another thing I wanted to say is that, you know, for, for you young people, you know, I, the older ones, man, you know, I don't really deal with them because a lot of on certain subjects they have a mental retardation. So, you know, receiving new information or revelation, they're not going to receive it simply because they've had a mental retardation pertaining to certain things for so long. So, with that being said, you know, I don't even want to cast no pearls before swine with them. But for some of you young people, uh, you know, just keeping it all the way real. The enemy knows your subculture. The enemy knows everything about your subculture. The enemy studies your subculture each and every day. You know what I mean? So the smart and wise thing would be is to do everything to look at the other participants and representatives of the game, especially because, like I said, when it comes to older peas or just peas, period, you either going to learn from their wise words or you're going to learn from them being a proverb on what not to do. So, you know, just keeping that thing all the way 100, you know, um, sitting over there, you know what I mean, doing all of this slick talking, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of you be incriminating yourself. You don't even know what you be saying. A lot of you, you know what I mean, is breaking the You're breaking the on video. You know what I mean? You're doing a lot of things that you don't even have to do, bro. A pimp thinks with the mentality of I'm number one. So if I'm number one, why the f do I have to waste my existence trying to get validation from number two, three, four, and mother five? Exactly. So with that being said, just stop doing that. A lot of you want to be glorified. And I'm telling you, your desire for glorification is going to have you in some in incarceration. It's going to have you incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, this pimp game is a thinking man's game. And everybody doesn't have the thinking capabilities to participate in the game. So a lot of y'all that might sound disrespectful, but just being real, a lot of you just don't have the mental uh, capabilities to participate in the game. And especially, you know, in this day and age, you know, these laws, man, are terrible. They're terrible, bro. You know what I mean? For honestly, for somebody to participate in the lifestyle of pimping and horn in this day, you have to truly be wrapped up, entangled up, you know, in love with this game because it has to be more than just money. Because just to keep it all the way 100, if you weigh, you know, the pros and cons, if you look at the consequences of participating in this lifestyle and the prices, I mean, the, uh, the blessings, you know what I mean, the, the trophies in the life, it's not... It ain't even on the same wavelength, bro. So you have to be in love with this game. Anytime you see somebody that's giving out some good game, that's giving out some good information, man, you got to run to it. You got to run to it. You got to be like a sponge, man. You got to do something that don't do. You got to read. And I'm not just saying read books pertaining to the lifestyle. You got to read, man. You got to read about the law. Before you go to a state, with a woman, before you go to a state with those women, you need to study the law of that state. Because if you study the law of that state after finding out the consequences of, you know, no pimping or miss pimping or mistake or whatever, uh, after you find out the consequences of basically, you understand me, uh, doing some pimping up in there, you might not want to even go there. You might not want to campaign there or pimp there. A lot of y'all been going to Virginia. And I spoke on this in another video. I told you to leave Virginia alone. 
I've been told y'all to leave Orange County alone. You know what I'm saying? Orange County is a spot where, you know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm a square. I'm just giving my opinion as a square. I'm not no pimp. But from a square point of view, hey man, you know, in that Orange County, it's just good, man. Let them bras do what they do. You know what I mean? It ain't that mother serious. You know what I mean? I'm just talking to a lot of you young, you young people, man, because you you out there, you're on fire, you going on Instagram and Facebook, you know what I mean? You're mesmerized and you endeavoring to um, memorize everything that you heard and then you saying what you heard, you know what I mean, on somebody's Facebook or IG and you go to the track and you saying these things and bro, you predestined to be locked the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Leave that motherfucker Orange County alone. If you need, if, if, if it's so much money, but seeing there's so much money there, man, and, oh, man, the money be good, man, and, you know, I came up on the car, and, you know, I did this, I got my jewelry for, I understand all that, but, hey, man, you ain't even got to be there. Send the bitch. You ain't got to be there. You know what I mean? All of this, uh, you know, just, just uh, going to Orange County, man, Orange County got so many uh, so-called pimps and real pimps locked up and f***ed up right now, it's a shame. And then some of y'all, you know what I mean, you're not saving no money. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm seeing nice foreign cars. I'm seeing designer clothes. I'm seeing jewelry. I'm seeing uh, a house. You know what I mean? Things like that. But when a situation come and that bail is coming, I, it's only a few of y'all that be bailing out. You ain't got your shit together. You don't got your shit together, man. Get your shit together, man. I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live, man. Y'all be blessed now.